Hey beloveds, welcome to Beanie TV where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. So you know what to do, let's get into today's affirmation. Go ahead and close your eyes, take a deep breath in, release. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Release. What is up, my manifesting mama seaters and my miracle minded men? Welcome to another episode of Beanie TV. Okay, so you're probably wondering, like, why is she so close to the camera? Well, it's because in today's episode, I am doing it in my underwear. I am shooting today's episode in my underwear because I am comfortable in my body. And I wanna to talk to you guys about the journey that it took me to get there. Um, at the end of the day, my channel, my mission on this earth is to uplift the collective consciousness. So what that means is questioning why things are the way that they are and making choices with our own consciousness, with our own being to decide how we are gonna see ourselves in this world, what we're gonna do in this world and all that good stuff. So let's get into my body journey. Okay, so right now, this is my stomach not um, sucked in. I'm the queen of sucking in. I've been sucking in my stomach since I was seven years old. Like, I have abs underneath this, right? Like, um, if you are team suck in, leave me a comment below and let me know that you are team suck in. So. I have always just had extra weight on me. I've always, when I was younger, I was a like chubby gal, but it was weird. I always had breasts and I always had stomach, but I, and I always had arms, right? I've always just had, you know, a little bit more meat on my arms and I've always had a slimmer bottom. Um, I don't know what happened. My family's from Ghana. And you know when you go to Ghana, there are some big asses, like some big badonkadonks. And I don't know what happened. I guess my family just missed the big booty train. The big booty train was coming at 12, and my family got there at 12.30, and it was like, whoosh. Okay, and here we are. <laughs> here we are. Um, and, you know, I come from a family of women that don't really like you know, feel confident in their bodies or praise their bodies, but I do come from a family of women that were always comfortable in their nudity. You know, growing up, my grandma, my mom, my aunts, like they were always just naked. So it's not a big deal for me to be sitting right now, stomach out, boobs out, like with you because I'm comfortable in my nudity. Now, when I was growing up, I, again, I, for some reason in middle school, I went all the way down to a double zero. Like right now I am 139 pounds, I'm 5'3", and I'm a size like six. Um, but back in middle school, I was like a double zero, 119 pounds. I don't know what happened. I, lo I lost the baby fat, but I still had the stomach and I still had the boobs. Um, and I just look so scrawny and weird and you know, it's like, there were so many girls in middle school that had big but now we're talking 13 here. So there were girls that had big butts, big boobs, like really like thick, voluptuous 13 year olds, which in hindsight, now that just must have been awful for them because the way that people would gawk at them in school, in hindsight, that seems awful. But now I think that when I was growing up, I, never wanted a big butt I just always wanted to be skinny do you guys remember the limited two magazines and the Delia's magazines do you guys remember those magazines every time they would come in the mail I knew I wasn't good my mom was not going my single mom was not gonna buy nothing from limited two but I would circle it and be like yep 1a the glittery tank top for $12.99 yeah I'm gonna get that mm -hmm. yeah those magazines with those white girls who were smiling and they were so pretty and their thighs were so thin, that planted a seed of, I wanna be skinny. 
I want to be skinny. I want to be I want to be like these white girls in these limited two magazines and I was never going to be that, right? But it planted that seed of something I was never going to be. And that sucks because even now at 29, I got to shake that off. Okay? Because you guys know we've all been on this self-love journey together and today I can proudly say I love myself, I'm comfortable with myself and the biggest thing of all is I accept myself, right? But I had to uproot that seed that those limited two and Delia's magazines deemed as beautiful from my consciousness and I had to let those things go. So let me know in the comments like if you um what you have had to release from your consciousness so that you could really grasp this self-love thing that's my stomach not sucked in right like i've always just had a thing with my stomach but this is my stomach sucked in oh gosh, but i have had to work on that and i've had to uh, build up a blockage and a barrier like okay i'm wearing something that i feel good in Someone might say something about my stomach. Uh, I need to be able to be strong enough to ignore it and bounce it back off, right? So it's a journey. It's a journey, but it's important to find the root of why. So for me, again, it's the women in my family and just certain beauty standards being shoved down your throat until, you know, even and and yeah, until eventually you're like, no, never mind. I don't subscribe to this beauty standard. Um, and definitely, you know, in the like 2010s, like 2010s is like when we started like having social media more. So we had Tumblr, we had um, Instagram, and we had all these things that were all these artists and people were like, this is a woman's body. It is allowed to look how God has said, this is how the body is going to look. And I accept it. So there was so much body empowerment and is so much body empowerment. And that helped me because understand okay i was walking around in booty shorts okay i used to walk around in booty shorts i used to wear t-shirts without a bra like for me it was weird because within i was like dang i wish i was i could be like a skinny white girl but then on the outside i'm like a confident dark skin girl like hey what's up in my like whatever i was wearing i always felt confident in my clothes i'm what you would call petite with meat and you know, acceptance is such a beautiful word when it comes to situations and people and your body. Like acceptance, accepting what is. I have accepted that my body will never be that 5'9", you know, Russian model. And it will never be that Instagram girl with the big boobs and tiny waist and big ass. I will never be those things. Acceptance. That is such a freeing word. So now that I've accepted, like, I've been on this accepting my body thing for about a year. And it has done me well. And I ask you to join me in that. I ask you to join me in waking up and looking at your naked body and being like, I love you, vessel. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you. And this is for men, too. I think a lot of body positivity is focused on women. Now, we need to also, you know, there's some there's some men out there who don't feel good in their bodies, who kind of just, you know, maybe have a little extra weight on them and they're not feeling good. So if you are a guy and you are watching this, if you are watching this, and you're watching this because I'm in my underwear, you're nasty. But if you're watching this, I just wanna let you know that you also can be positive and feel good about your body no matter how many abs you have, no matter what your booty's looking like, no matter what, like you are allowed to be comfortable and accept your body and carry that confidence with you. Um, but I wanna go back to what I was saying about like, my mission on this earth is to uplift the collective consciousness. Now, something that society tells us is that cellulite and stretch marks are bad. They're not a good look. They're unappealing. I don't know why, but I have never cared about stretch marks or cellulite. For some reason, it just doesn't matter to me. It doesn't resonate with me. Like, I don't care that, you know, 
society has said like there's so many procedures for you to go and get your cellulite taken off or so many things to help with stretch marks like I have stretch marks on my yeah I have stretch marks right here on the back of my thigh from when I used to dance and I was going through like puberty at the same time. And it's like, okay, like look, like we're gonna examine my body. Like, look, I have all of this quote unquote cellulite all right here and I don't give a damn. Like I really, it doesn't matter to me. Like you can choose what society says is nasty or ugly or inappropriate or whatever you can choose what you are going to align with and agree with like cellulite stretch marks i just don't agree with it i just don't see what the big deal is i really don't now it's like someone else could be watching this and saying okay well bina like you're small or okay bina but you you know don't know what it's like to be super super skinny or really really big like you don't know and you're right but at the end of the day this vessel that God has given us is the one that we've been given, right? Like our parents, our grandparents, grandparents, parents, genetics, DNA, hereditary things. That is why we have the body that we have. That's it. And that's why acceptance is the biggest word like you could ever use this year. And, and owning it, right? Once you accept like, look, Yes, I'm going to work out. Yes, I'm going to be healthy. Yes, I'm going to I'm going to um do the things to make sure that my body, my vessel is being able to be used through this earth. Yes, I'm going to do all those things. I'm going to own it. I'm going to own this vessel, right? I'm going to own, you know, this part like all of here. I'm going to own that. I don't really have a lot of like curvature. I'm going to own it. I'm going to own like all of this, I own it. I own all of this, all of this, like all of this. I own it because it's mine. Like God said, you gonna have this booty. You gonna, like I like to call my butt a tush. Okay, so maybe even using words that empower you. Like I'm not gonna sit here and tell, tell somebody that I have a little butt or a flat butt or I don't have a butt. No, I got a tush, okay? I like to call it a tush. Cause it's cute, I got a cute little booty. Cute little booty, you know what I'm saying? Like, use empowering words for your body. And if, I know that the artist Lizzo, she wants to reclaim that word fat and make it powerful. Just like people have reclaimed the word bitch and it makes them pow it makes them feel powerful do what you can to empower yourself really understand like ask yourself why why does being bigger matter why does being very very skinny matter like you want to ask yourself these questions like does it even fucking matter does it and you have to remember the some things are not your fault it is not my fault that limited two chose those models and that seed was planted in me that's not my fault right and you can't take that on you have to uproot that and give it back to wherever it came from so whether you are petite with me like your girl whether you are a man who's struggling with body image issues whether you are beautifully boldly plus size or you are wonderfully waif thin whatever it is acceptance 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 and owning it owning it also you know obviously when it comes to bodies we also have to talk about you know diseases that come with that maybe people are suffering from anorexia bulimia body dysmorphic disorder just know that i'm with you I've, I've, I've teetered on that, I've been there with you. Sometimes I wouldn't eat because I wouldn't want my stomach to be big. One time like I made myself throw up because I did not want my stomach to look big or be big. So it's not just the, oh today I love myself and I accept my body. No, it's a journey and it takes one day at a time. So anyone who is suffering from those things, I'm with you, I'm for you. God got you, it's, it's going to get better. But it takes, you know, like I said, it just takes that acceptance, it takes that owning it, and it takes work. 
doing affirmations in the mirror, standing in the mirror naked and being like, woo, I love my body, you know? And that's why I wanted to start this video off with, I'm in love. I'm in love with my hands. I'm in love with the fact that God has given me a fingerprint that no one else has. I'm in love with one boob being here and one boob being down there. I'm in love with my lopsided ears. Like, God intentionally created me with every nick and knack and weird thing, God intentionally created me and I have to be in love with that. Do not let society make you think that there is something wrong with you. There's not anything wrong with you. There's something wrong with society. There's something wrong with those people that made those rules millions of hundreds of years ago that we're still abiding by that we don't have to. You are free. You don't have to anymore. Accept your body. Own it. Own that shit. And, it and know that it takes time. It takes time. Okay, so as I said in my previous videos, I want to start doing this thing where I am featuring comments. I love you guys when you comment because it makes me feel like y'all really with me. So, um, someone named C, just S-E-E, -E, commented on my previous video where I talked about how I had a social media free trip to Tulum, Mexico. And they said, I love that you set this intention for yourself before your trip. It's so free! It is so freeing. So if you have not checked out that video, go ahead and go back and leave a comment. And if you have not already subscribed, and if you have not already, turn on those notifications. Turn them on. And then um, another subscriber named JMCKN21 commented on my how to put on a Fashion Nova dress video, which I like to make people laugh. I won the most humorous in eighth grade. I'm a little funny. I'm a little funny. And I want to try to bring that humor to this YouTube channel. And this person said, absolutely made me feel better and great laugh. And that is what I want to do, okay? I just want to bring light, love, and laughter and God to you. So let's go ahead and end this video with a prayer. So go ahead and close your eyes. Father God, we thank you so much today to whoever is dealing with body issues who doesn't see themselves the way that you see them transform their mind god when they look in the mirror let them see the beautiful amazing wonderful being that you have intentionally created them to be let all darkness surrounding their body images images and issues vanish god we thank you that on this journey on this human journey you are with us and even though society tells us things that we should hate about ourselves god you love us let us reach into that love that you have for us and pour it upon ourselves god let us love our bodies let us love this vessel that you have given us let us love our bodies let us be give us confidence god and give us ease and healthiness god we thank you so much for this vessel no matter what god we are confident in the beings that you have intentionally created us to be amen so i really do hope and pray that this video resonates with you if you know somebody that needs to see all of this all of this <laughs> um be sure to share it with them uh turn on the notification so that you can know when i do a video and be sure to give this video a thumbs up so that we can share this video with more people and really get this going that we don't have to believe what society tells us about our bodies anymore we have to do the work ourselves so i thank you so much and i will see you guys next video